we are at a different part <clears throat> of the peat bog this today because when I showed up there were people right in front of me and they were distance enough away that I knew I wasn't going to catch up to them but I was going to eventually so I went on a different path so I could be by myself and talk so today was a good day um what happened so only 92 phone calls for the day however four booked demos and plenty more talk time than usual so like normally on the days where i can get like 120 130 most of those are just me calling and it going to voicemail and then so like just hanging up right away because i've already left a voicemail as a follow-up call or whatever but today um it was like lots of success so that was nice um um, the main thing that I looked into today was I was looking into Jordan Belfort's sales training thing. And there's like a comprehensive one with a certification or something that seemed really good. Like there's 12 modules and it's interactive. Does this end? But it was like four grand. Like there's like three levels to it. Like there's first tier, cheapest one. Second tier is the middle one, obviously. And then the third tier is the most expensive one. So I was just more focused on the more expensive one. And it was like regularly like $8,000, but at a 50% discount, like permanently, I guess, um, for 4,000. And then, so I texted like the, the phone number to be like, hey, I got questions about this. Um, and, and then, so a sales rep gave me a call and explained the program and essentially said that like because I asked like what would your recommendation be for the best value like which is the best one that you should people should get it's gonna be so dark um and he went with the certification one because there's an interactive component to it which is pretty interesting um but so like because the other courses and courses I find generally or what I've seen are like 10 hours of video which is good information however you still need to sit down and do it and study it whereas this one from the sounds of it it seems like it was a new sort of program that because there's an interactive component it's more engaging which is always exactly what you want because then if there's activities to it then i'm not just watching a video and passively consuming the information but i actually have to complete the activities like answer questions interact with the video so then the the benefit to that is the information is better to encode much the same as like if you read a book you're not going to remember as much about the book as if unless as if compared to if you read the book and then wrote a report about the book because again you got to do more with that and then he also said like, going like, okay, instead of $4,000 because you're a first time never before been with the program kind of thing, I can offer it to you for $9.97. Was Joe's going like, okay, that's interesting. I don't think he's gonna stop. I don't know if it's me or... Dude, like, that's really fucking loud. Stop! Thank you. Ah, oh, bitch. Um, can you tell me to fuck off or something? Bro, like, I can be here as well. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave so the Canada goose doesn't... Canada geese stop fucking chirping. Um. Like, are they... I don't know if it's me. Oh, it definitely was me. If it stops. Whatever. What was I talking about? He, what, well, because what it taught me was then going like, okay, so if I ever find another sales training program, it definitely fucking was me. Uh, if I, f I ever find a different sales program, I should always call because maybe that there is going to be another discount applied 
to get you to buy now. He said that like the offer ex expired September 29th, but eh. my bet is there's always some sort of discount kind of thing. He sound sounded really professional and, and had been working with the company for like eight years. So like it, it's, he sounded like he knew what he was doing and any sort of teaching would be good. Um, but again, that's a long-term sort of thing that I have to save up for like over the next kind of three months, but I think it will pay off because it will actually give me, um, what do you call it? Experience seeing what different sort of sales training programs are like. And then I can use that as a sort of template to create one for my own. Cause like one idea that I have as like a long-term play, just an idea is if I create a sales course thing that then I do a presentation specifically for plans well and be like, hey, I will give this like this is worth, let's call it $20,000. But then it's like, no, but actually it's reduced for this much, but then this much, then this much, then this much. And then actually I, in the end, I give it away for free on the condition that they actually use it. They tell me what they think about it. And if they think it deserves a five-star review, give it a five-star review. Because at the moment, your first, like the, my first customer would be more, is the money in it is much less valuable than the testimonial. And if I could get a testimonial from a CEO, the sales managers and the salespeople who use the program, then instead of just having one testimonial to begin with, I then have 14, let's say. And if I'm going to go to a company that I've never worked before and be like, give me an absurd amount of money, they're going to be like, why the fuck would I? But then if I'm like, they're leaving now, but they like fucking saying they're going to take off or something. <laughs> like we're about to leave. <laughs> um, but it will be easier to convince somebody to get, spend a ridiculous amount of money if there is social proof and social validation that it works. And then so the idea would be not only like a sales training module component, but then also a personal development, which could in, it include a personality test, as well as a sort of um, thing, which, what would it do? Um, where people would like set goals for themselves, analyze where they'd like to go and analyze what future they really want to avoid. So then you have both that pulling towards something and pushing away and running away from a bad something. And then having videos specifically tailored to common objections and how to overcome them based on the training I get from other places specific to one company then makes that more valuable. Then the other thought is going, if there, if there has something that they can buy or then buy a license for, which then gives them, meaning plans well, some kind of intellectual property, which goes with the business, then the business can become more valuable. I don't know how much more valuable that would add to it, but if it demonstrates that you can effectively take someone who does not know how to sell or someone who's trying to learn how to sell and make them a really good salesperson, then built into, you have a, a system in which there is a structure which is self-sustaining, meaning it's not dependent on a person to be there to train your salespeople to become better, which is not to say that the sales managers are then, like, are, are then unneeded. But it just is because they're not because they're still going to play a fundamental role. You still need that sort of human connection. But then you can swap, you can withstand the negative force of employee turnover. Because if people are leaving all the time, but you have a system which trains people regardless who's there. Well, well then the, the, that system is worth more. So then there's that sort of component. And then that actually could lead to what the actual business sort of thing would be that I'm thinking of, and then would also work in tandem because then ideas are tools would be a, like the, the channel would be a place where there are things like ideas that work on improving yourself. Um, also there are sales tips, I guess. I don't know yet though, but then that generates leads for people who want to do better. So then you could have a smaller kind of product specifically for 
uh, like just me, if I'm, I'm looking for a place to learn knowledge about the thing I want to do and I want to do it better, I can get the smaller package. But then if it actually has value, then I might be incentivized to be like, hey, person who's in charge of me, um, we should buy this thing, um, which then leads to bigger sales on that. So lots to think about, but cool. All in all, what I'm recognizing as well is the fact that I'm not, go I'm going to procrastinate going to the gym again. So it's not gonna be tomorrow morning. I know at one point I will. So I just have to keep it. At, like at one point I'm not gonna procrastinate it and I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna stick with it for a long time. That's what I think is going to happen. But lots of things to think about. I need to edit a video today so that there's something to upload today as well as tomorrow. Um, because I have to commit to the start continue <laughs> idea, even though it is difficult. The continue part is the more difficult part because life hits you. And I need to take out the garbage. There's a bunch of things. But I'm happy today though, that I was able to get four book demos because then that proves to me going like, okay, that's that rule of 100. It actually is right. Now, I feel fucking bad because I only got 92. Because then I like, I can't say I called a hundred, made a hundred phone calls over a hundred days, but I can say I averaged over a hundred phone calls. And then that might actually be better. Well, because then as long as the average is more than a hundred, like it's like 120 or something, then it actually sounds like something. Oh, I guess that's more the thing is because you're like, well, how am I not just copying the other sales training programs or personality development kind of things is because there's that intersection between sales skills, personality development and neuroscience. Like that neuroscience component is just the, the differentiator or the thing that makes it unique as well as me, the person. But then the thing is like, you want to make sure that me, the person is not necessary for the business to grow. Because at one point, if I want to sell it, or if you want to build a business such that you can sell it, you want to build it in such a way such that you are not the reason why it's successful, but the structure in and of itself and the people who make it up. Like rather than being a genius with a thousand hands, which I've said before, it is a strong team working together. Like, so if you have a good leader, good leader's a good leader, but it's the crucial component is good leader, not specific, this specific leader. But yeah, so that's all I have to say. Traffic is great. Oh, that, and the other thing is just going like, I, I'm happy because the amount of demos I have booked is the most of the team to this month to date. So I feel good. But again, I'm proving myself that I can actually do it, which gives me credibility when I say this is what you should try when you're trying to do it. Because again, the thing that I have to answer when you give somebody advice on anything, the subconscious question that is asked that you have to answer is why should I listen to you? And so I go like, well, why should you listen to me? Because I have a proven track record of implementing these things I'm telling you and it working. So there you go. That's, that's, that's the day.